Hello everyone, I'm Nima and welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is about saffron. A lot of people have heard the term saffron before, but I'm sure most of them don't even know what it is. So in this video, we will be talking about what saffron actually is, where does it grow, how does it grow, what is the best way and technique to use it in cooking, what is the best way to keep and store it to extend its shelf life, and lastly, why is it so expensive? So if you want to gain some information about saffron and get the answer to all of those questions, you're in the right place and keep watching this video. What is saffron? So it's a spice, first of all. And in fact, it's the most expensive spice in the whole world, where one kilogram of saffron, which is like 2.2 pounds, is about four to five thousand dollars, depending on its quality and the place that it has been grown, you know? And saffron originates from a flower called Crocus sativus, and this flower grows best in uh, full sun and well-drained environments. Full sun meaning that it needs sun during the daylight, and well-drained environments means that the soil has to be dry, and the soil shouldn't be like wet at all, because when the soil is dry, it's full of organic matter, and the flower of saffron, Crocus sativus, needs organic matter to grow. And the reason why saffron is so, so, so expensive is because the saffron, like the actual spice, is actually the stigma of the flower, of the crocus sativus. And each flower produces only two or three stigmas. And these flowers has to be, these flowers must be harvested by hand. And the harvesting time for this flower is only one week per year. And in fact, it takes 1,000 flowers to only have one ounce of saffron. One ounce is basically 28 grams of saffron. That's basically high intense work. It's labor intensive and it takes a lot of time because imagine a flower and you have to like pick all the stigmas of the flower. It takes a long time, you know? And that's why saffron is so, so expensive. Saffron was originated in Iran about 3000 years ago. And Iran is still the largest saffron producer in the whole world. Over 90% of the saffron in the world comes from Iran. And saffron has been used as a medicine, dye, perfume for hundreds of years. But now we know that it also has a great, great, great culinary use to it as well. But what does it actually taste like? It has a slightly sweet flavor to it and it's very fragrant. It's actually very hard to describe and explain its like flavor because when you think about it, it doesn't have much flavor, but at the same time, it has a lot of flavor. It, 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 this might not make sense for you if you haven't had saffron before. And it, it also has a great color, it's very aromatic, and it's just amazing. It's an amazing spice to use. How to use saffron? So in order to use saffron, you need to first grind your saffron and then steep it with hot water. And always grind, uh, grind small batches at a time because grind, ground saffron tend to lose its flavor and aroma quickly. But if you just grind like small batches at a time, you can have like fresh ground saffron every time. And when you have ground saffron, basically add a little bit of hot water to it, let it sit for several minutes. The longer it sits, the better the flavor and the stronger the color is gonna be. And um, yeah, when you add saffron water, you can basically add it to your food, whatever you have, stew, basically anything, you know? And let's say you, you're using a recipe and it calls for saffron, but you don't have it in house. What should you do? Well, I'm sorry to say this, but you can't make that food. You cannot make that food because there are no substitutes for saffron. A lot of people actually say that you can use turmeric instead, but I have a video about turmeric where I basically introduced it, explained what it exactly is, just like this video for saffron. And in, this, in that video, I've also said that you cannot use turmeric instead of saffron because they have different colors, they have different flavors, they have different aromas, and th there are basically, like you cannot use turmeric instead of saffron. There is no way that if you use turmeric instead of saffron in a recipe, you'll get the same results because they, they're two different spices. And you can use saffron in basically whatever you like. It just brings your food to another level. You can use it in stews, you can add some to your rice to have um, yellow saffron rice, you can make uh, saffron risotto, and you can actually use it in marinades. It, it works very, very well with chicken because chicken has a like light color to it, and when you add saffron to it in the marinade, 
it basically absorbs that color and flavor and when it absorbs that color your chicken is now like yellowish red you know what I mean that that color and it's very very nice all right if you think you've learned something watching this video so far please hit that like button down below so YouTube will show this video to more people who want to learn about saffron thank you how should we store saffron to extend its shelf life? Well, saffron should be stored in a small airtight container and it has to be in a dry, dark, cool place. And when you have it like that, if it's even if it's ground, you can basically keep it for like at least six, seven, eight months without losing its flavor and quality. Okay, so after all that, is it actually worth it to buy saffron and use it in cooking? Well, I would say yes, because saffron is a luxurious spice and you can basically use it and it's so expensive but you don't need to use a lot in your food you can basically just use a little bit of saffron in the food and you will see the results you will see how different it gets how aromatic it gets how colorful it gets you know what i mean it's so amazing and but like what to look when you're buying saffron so always buy saffron in its stigmas never buy saffron powder or ground saffron because when it's in a like powdery form you actually have no idea what that powder is you don't know if it's actually real saffron you don't know if it's fake saffron you don't know if it has like some additives to it so always 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 buy um saffron stigmas and ground it yourself at home that's like the best way to buy saffron and it should be like red it should be like the color of fire red um and it should also taste a bit sweet a little bit sweet all right everyone this is the end of the video thank you for watching i hope you actually learned something watching this video and if you think other people would benefit from this video too please hit that like button down below so youtube can show this video to more people you know and if you think you want to see more videos like this about more ingredients please subscribe to my youtube channel i make videos like this where i introduced where I introduce ingredients like different spices, different fruits, different vinegars, you know, a lot of videos. If you like them, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and until the next video, I will see you all later. Thank you.